Hey, what's up, guys? I am Joe from Workbench, and this week we're going to talk about Seb's technique for making a 3D book in After Effects. Okay, so this is what the final effect looks like. Read a book, buy some land, profit. Okay, so the setup is pretty simple. It's basically just a couple of pages, offset and Z space, and they have a 3D rotation and a page turn effect applied. So we still have the back cover right here. So if we open up these keyframes right here, you can see I have the position keyframed. One thing I've noticed is that you need to take the X coordinate and start it a little bit more to the right, because otherwise you might see the spine between where the pages are. I have an expression on position that pushes it back by the index times 20, so that each page is 20 pixels back from the one above it. So all you do is make sure that your anchor point is on the left side, and then set your Y rotation so that it's basically just about to turn in. And then you have your page turn effect applied. We have this set to classic UI, which makes it easier to determine the direction that the page is going to turn in. And then we have the fold radius cranked up. And then the fold position moves after we start the rotation. And it just ends after we're done. And each one of these is staggered by about four frames. And it kind of picks up the pace as it gets sort of the top. I've made each page in a comp so that you can actually put your own stuff in here. And I'm going to make this available as a download. And then to finish it off, all we did was add a drop shadow to each page. Um, it might be too dark for you by the end of it, so you might want to fade it out. But I just use a really low value of opacity. So we're just using 5% here, and it's pretty soft, so it doesn't really stack up too much. And it kind of looks like a real book in thickness at the end. All right, guys, that's it. That's a quick tip that Seb came up with while we were working on a project. And I thought it was pretty awesome, so I decided to share it. All right, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you feel like helping to support what we do, check out patreon.com slash workbench. Make sure you follow us on workbench.tv for more great content. I've been trying to post at the blog a little bit more lately. And as always, I am Joe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.